Hi, this is Michael with ReefLifeAquariums.com. Today's topic is an eye-catching coral unboxing. So if scrambled eggs at 10.30 in the morning, yellow passion, toxic meltdown, ectoplasm interest you, well, stay tuned for the seal unboxing. Okay, so our shipment came in about 8.35 this morning. It's about 9, you know, about 9.30. So we had it set for a little bit, but we had to prepare so we could record this for you guys. So as always, I love their packaging. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut open this, and we'll get this started. As you may recall, they put a little air hole here, which helps the heat packs stay active a lot longer after packaging. It's these little things that eye-catching does that really make them stand apart from the competition. Heat packs, they're nice and warm. Okay, so what we have in today, we got a bunch of high-end aquaculture corals. Now, high-end doesn't mean expensive, but it's usually they got a name assigned to them. So as we're opening these, we're going to open some samples, so that way you get an idea, and then we'll, we'll speed through it to the end so you can see how we acclimate and uh, medicate and get ready for our customers to pick up later today. So this one's a Kenya tree. It's called the Big Tree Frag, and these are soft coral that does really well in people's tanks. Some people complain because as your tank gets more mature, it has a tendency to start shedding off babies when it's happy. And one coral over time can give maybe 25 or 50 small babies. So it's kind of fun to have in a beginner tank because there's, it's wavy, it puffs up a lot during the day, it shrinks down at night, and that's called a Kenya tree. This one is an emerald galaxia frag. So this, is a neon green emerald. We had one of these in the last uh, shipment and really it went really quick. It didn't even last probably two days and people were in getting them. So that's the emerald galaxia. We also got some about 10 acropora frags. And this is part of that, that monthly subscription so we don't necessarily control what's going to come in. But this one is a red acropora. It's got a little bit of pink on it. So. This is another Kenya tree. This is a Xenia frag. So right now it doesn't look very nice, but once we get it in the water, it puffs up. And a lot of them do some pulsating. It just depends on the, there's three or four strains of Xenia. Okay, so this one I'm really looking forward to. We haven't had one of these in a while in the store. It's, a, um, it's called a spearmint uh, clove polyp. And, of course, in shipping, you don't see a whole lot, but later we'll show you what it looks like once it unfolds in, in your uh, tank. This is another Acropora frag. I'm excited about these because it's been hard to get Acroporas that are affordable. And in this case, these are all the ones where we can get the $30 price point for customers. And, of course, these aren't people that just snip them and glue them because you'll see there's growth on the plug. So another Acropora flag, frag. Another Acropora. Here's another one. We also got an assortment of uh, Duncans in. Yeah, Duncan frags. Here's another Acropora frag. And again, once you see these under the lights in the tank, 
They're going to look marvelous. And for our stick people, another Acropora fact. I can already hear the people lining up saying, Mike's got some sticks. So our Acropora people are very, SPS people really, they love their coral. Now this one, I think even you can see this through the camera. See how there's a red tint to this? When this is under actinic liking, lighting in your tank, it's gonna look absolutely amazing. It takes a week or so, but once the polyps start coming out and feeding, it li literally looks like a feathery bush. And if you have good tank parameters, it's very easy to get an inch or two out of them a month in growth. Here's another one. There's another Acropora frag that's actually two, a third branch starting. This is another Duncan. We got, I think, probably 10 of these in. Um, people love these. These are a good beginner coral because you don't have to know a ton about saltwater aquariums other than good husbandry, which is regular water changes. And it's very easy for you to get one or two or three heads in a month or so growing. So it's wonderful when you can buy something with two heads on it and a month and a month and a half later, you got five. It's a, the sense of ownership and gratification of being able to do something that only Mother Nature could do is wonderful. Another, another Duncan frag. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna leave this in here. This is a Xenia frag. Now, last time I showed it to you, it kind of was wilted down because it was in no water, but you can kind of see the potential of it when it's suspended in the water. Of course, it'll look even better in a tank. And that's a Xenia frag. A wild berry Cyphastria frag. This is the first time we've had this one. I'm kind of excited. And it does look like a wild berry. It's like a mix between a raspberry and a blueberry, maybe a strawberry. That's called the wild berry frag. Another Kenya tree. And again, you can see this is a Kenya tree just like the other one was. Well, the other one was the Xenia, but see the Kenya tree, how thick it is? So when I take it out, It'll kind of melt away a little bit, but you start seeing that stockiness to it. And this is the one that once it gets happy in your tank, it'll shut off babies, which can be a nuisance. But we have a lot of people that when that happens, they'll bring them to us for some token store credit to help pay for the hobby. This is a yellow polyp frag. It's funny because these, they're just a simple, it almost looks, they're yellow with some brown in them, and they really look like long eyelashes. So it's just a yellow polyp coral, and it's funny because you can't always get it, but it's, it's, a, it's one of the fundamental corals in the, in the, in the hobby. Spearmint clove, we had one earlier I showed you. Yeah, you can't see anything. We'll have to wait till they get acclimated. So that's a spearmint clove. Right now it's all upset that it's, you know, it's in darkness for overnight and kind of cool. So, but we'll show you these uh, once we're finished with the unboxing. Spellcaster cespularia, say that three times fast. The, this one, these are amazing. I really like this coral. And at times they're hard to get, but they're, when they're glowing under actinic lighting in your tank, you, you're gonna be in love with this coral. I don't always have them, uh, but this was part of the special order for the President's Day sale. So, but this is a Spellcaster uh, Cespularia.
So the next one is an ectoplasm, ectoplasm farits. Now this coral is going to have some reds and neon greens in it. It's going to be amazing. I have high expectations for their customer that ordered this because once it gets acclimated to the tank, again, these are second generation aquaculture, aquacultured. So for them to adapt to the tank should be pretty quick and for them to start growing out over their rock. Um, if they get decent water parameters, it should happen pretty quickly. So that's the ectoplasm. Scrambled eggs. We filmed this about 10.30 in the morning. So usually when you're thinking scrambled eggs in the morning, you think about some food. So what we're doing here is these are scrambled egg zoanthids. And again, they're reseeded in right now. They're in right now. But we had a customer from Tuscaloosa that said, he called and said, we need scrambled eggs. I was like, I'm sorry, we don't serve here. And he's like, no, they're zoanthid on your website. And I didn't even know they're on there. So this is the famous scrambled egg zoanthid. Green purple people eater. Green purple peter, people eater. Green purple people eater. I can see why they say P-E-P, -P, a little easier to say. So this is a green purple people eater. And this is zoanthid. That's got some wonderful colorations on it. And you're gonna see a picture of it here in just a second once it's unfolded. And it's funny because when we order these, it says there's a two head average polyp. And that was true with the scrambled egg. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heads on it. So purple people eater, if you see this, you need to come get it because it's not gonna last that long because it's usually two pops for the price. So purple people eater. Pretty sure I shouldn't say that anymore. So Emerald Green Galaxia Frag. We unboxed one a little bit earlier, but what we'll do is this one's a little bit larger. It's more encrusted. It's encrusted around the edges and a little bit underneath. And of course, Galaxia, along with leathers, are two of the best corals to go in the top of your tank because they can handle as much light as you can give them. And of course, with Galaxia, there's these tentacles that go out at nighttime. So by being up top and there's not a lot of you know, neighborhood corals around it, you don't have to worry about them stinging your other corals. So that's a great position for the uh, Galaxias at the top of your tank. Mystic Sunset Montipora. So we haven't had this one in a long time. And what you can see on the Mystic Sunset Montipora is it's red and there was an original frag that was glued you know, to the plug. And you can see where it is encrusting over the sides and down the edge, edges of the frag plug. This is gonna great, this was pre-sold as well. We did bring in extra for other people that were able to take advantage of the sale, but uh, this is a great encrusting coral, medium to low light. Um, as long as you get good water parameters, you should get some good growth out of this every month. So there's our scrambled egg. Another spellcaster, Cespolaria. Okay, see if you can get this. You can kind of see the neons, the almost aquamarine color that's on the branches. And again, we're gonna show you what it looks like in the tank, but this is a wonderful soft type of LPS that grows. It doesn't get huge, um, but it's just, it's got a little bit of waviness to it. So it gives you some enjoyment. It comes out and goes back in at night. And I just think it's a really one of those corals that a lot of people don't pay attention to because a lot of stores don't have them. And I think that's a shame because I think it's a wonderful, something unique to have in your tank that not everyone else has. Ectoplasm favites, we had one earlier. Okay, so this one looks a tiny bit different. So what we're gonna do, what I'm hoping you can see here is you got the red borders with the almost like a neon green centers. This thing looks absolutely amazing. You should have it up here on the side where you can see it, but this is the ectoplasm favites.
Toxic Meltdown. This is a chalice. I think there was only one available, and one of our customers scooped up pretty quickly. So this is the Toxic Meltdown. It hasn't grown out that much on this uh, frag yet, but a lot of times, some instead of encrusting down onto the flat surface, they kind of will branch out some. Not like a branch, but well, like a shelf. So this is the Toxic Meltdown Chalice. And once you get chalices in your tank, either they don't do very well or they do great, but to have this be out, you know, the size of an inch and a half or two inches in a month or two is very conceivable. This one is the Yellow Passion Galaxia Frag. I'm excited about this one. The customer pre-ordered it, and I think there was only one available, so he got the only one that was available nationwide. And it's called the Yellow Passion Galaxia. Again, Galaxia are the ones that can handle the high light on top of the tank. And I, when this, I was expecting this to have two or three small heads on it, and there are two or three here on the top. But if you look, it's grown all the way around on the side as well. And so we'll have a picture of it, what it looks like. And this is called. Um, Yellow Passion. I knew it had some extra name in there. Galaxic. Cool. This is called a Mystic Zoanthid Frag. And again, these are designer zoanthids that generally have about two polyps on them. And on this one, I think this one has got some blue with some green on it. And we'll show you what it looks like in a, in a few moments. Pipe organ. So we got our last unboxing. We probably got like five or six of them. I'll tell you what. They didn't last a day or two. No, not because they died, but because people came running in and getting them. So this is a pipe organ. And again, there's a red bony structure, and the polyps are on top. So it's very important that when you're placing this in your tank or if you're maintenance in your tank, don't touch anything on the top because you'll kill them and they won't come back. So um, they're not a fast grower. But they come out and they're wonderful looking. And these are got a lot of neon you know, polyps on them. And it's just a fun coral to have in your tank. Got a green Passapora frag. This is another SPS. These, you know, people either like them a lot or they don't really care for them. Um, but what will happen is this will have green little filaments or little polyps that come out. And it's got a fuzziness to it. So it's fun. This is a toxic waste Porates. This again was a special order from one of our customers. What you're gonna even see, even on this non-tank lighting, is you got a lime green. It's very well encrusted on this frag plug around along on the edges. So once this gets acclimated, I expect in a week or two it should double in size. So this is the toxic waste variety. And this last coral is the kaleidoscope star polyp. And this is going to have kind of a funky look like you're looking through a kaleidoscope. And if you can see on this, it's almost like it's carpeting. So it's got a purple back to it, and you see these little pops that come off of it. And this was the initial frag right here, and you can see this become encrusted over onto the sides of it. So it's called the kaleidoscope. So, so that's it for this part of unboxing. What we're going to do is we're going to do it through our normal acclimation and the, do the antiparasitic. I may do some rejuvenation a dip as well. We, have, we use a coral, we use Revive for rejuvenating coral. It doesn't help with parasites or it's not really a medication, but it does help rejuvenate corals and anemones uh, when you're transporting them to your tank. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.